Now area of a parallelogram, this is like a rectangle that's been pushed over and it has two sides of parallel lines, which means they will never meet, a bit like train tracks. So therefore our formula is the same as a rectangle. They could see that would be a right angle. So we have base times height. And note it's the height and not the side length. So if our base is 12 and our height is four, that would be 12 times four, giving us 48. And if a rectangle had the same measurements, it would again have the same area, 48 centimetres squared. So let's do another area of a parallelogram and we we'll mark on to show that it's a parallelogram to equal sides. So our base measurement here would be nine and our height, not side length, would be three. So that would be nine times three, which gives us 27 centimetres squared. And again, that'd be the same formula as a rectangle with the same measurements. So let's have a look at the perimeter of the parallelogram, which is the outline of the shape. So just like a rectangle, we would add A plus A plus B plus B, which would give us 8 plus 8 plus 9 plus 9, which is 34. Or a mathematical way, we would do 2 times A plus B. Now A plus B is 17, times that by two, same number, 34. Let's have another practice on the perimeter. So this time our measurements are A is 10.5 and B is 17. So that would be 10.5 plus 10.5 plus 17 plus 17, giving us 55. Or the mathematical way, two times A plus B. So A plus B is 27.5, times that by two, and again, it gives us 55. 